Tesla has just crossed a line that many people insisted would never be crossed, and it happened quietly, without a flashy announcement or a staged event. A new software update is rolling out, and what it enables is something no other company in the automotive industry can currently match, not even close. This isn't a small feature update or a cosmetic improvement. This is Tesla showing, in real-world use, how far ahead their technology actually is. What we are seeing now is a combination of full self-driving capability and conversational navigation that completely changes what it means to interact with a car. People are no longer tapping screens, scrolling through menus, or setting rigid destinations ahead of time. They are simply talking to the vehicle like they would talk to another person, and the car understands intent, context, and sequence. Drivers are asking their cars to find food, choose locations near scenic views, plan efficient routes, add stops on the fly, and adjust plans mid-drive. The system doesn't just respond with directions. It reasons. It explains. It adapts. It chooses routes that make sense based on timing, distance, and even practical details like keeping food warm. And while all of this is happening, the car is driving itself. This is not a concept demo. This is not a prototype in a closed environment. These are production vehicles operating on public roads, handling city streets, highways, complex intersections, parking lots, and unpredictable traffic situations. And that alone would be impressive. But what truly changes the conversation is that Tesla has now begun operating robot access without safety drivers. For a long time, critics held onto one final argument. They said the technology wasn't real autonomy because there was still a human inside the car ready to take over. That argument has now collapsed. Vehicles are being seen operating autonomously with no one behind the wheel, no safety rider no remote operator visibly involved. This is a major milestone, and it arrived much faster than many expected. Other companies took years to move from supervised testing to limited unsupervised operation, often within highly constrained environments. Tesla has moved from supervised driving to fully autonomous operation in a matter of months, using the same software stack that runs in privately owned cars. That is the part that should make the industry nervous. What makes this even more significant is scale. Tesla doesn't have a small test fleet collecting limited data. They have millions of vehicles on the road. Every mile driven helps train the system. Every edge case improves the model. Even when drivers are in control, the system is learning in the background, comparing its decisions to human behavior and refining itself continuously. This data advantage is something no competitor can replicate quickly. Some companies operate a few thousand autonomous vehicles. Tesla adds that many data collecting cars in days. The gap is widening, not shrinking. At the same time, the cost difference is staggering. In the United States, a Tesla capable of conversational navigation and full self-driving supervised can be purchased for the price of a mid-range conventional car. The software subscription costs less per month than many people spend on fuel. And this system works everywhere the car can drive, not just on pre-mapped highways or restricted zones. When you compare this to what some legacy manufacturers offer, the contrast is almost uncomfortable. Some systems are limited to specific highways, specific speeds, specific weather conditions, and even specific times of day. They require expensive hardware additions and are only available on top-tier luxury models, costing three times as much. Even then, the functionality is so limited that most owners rarely use it. These systems are often described as more advanced because of regulatory classifications. But in real-world usability, they fall apart. A system that only works in slow highway traffic under perfect conditions is not autonomy. It's a traffic assist feature. Tesla system even while still supervised for private owners, handles entire journeys from start to finish across every type of road. Another crucial difference is upgradability. Tesla vehicles are designed so that improvements come through software. A car purchase today can gain new capabilities years later. With many competitors, if the required sensors are not installed at the factory, the vehicle will never be able to drive itself, no matter how advanced the software becomes. No update can add missing hardware. 
This means that buying decisions made today lock customers into technological ceilings. A Tesla bought now is improving. Many other cars are already obsolete the moment they leave the showroom. What's happening with Robot Axis only reinforces this. Tesla is proving that the same system used by everyday drivers can scale into a fully autonomous fleet. This isn't a separate platform. It's the same brain trained by millions of drivers and billions of miles. That consistency matters. It also opens the door to entirely new experiences. A vehicle that understands spoken language can negotiate destinations, costs, and timing. It can suggest alternatives. It can explain delays. It can adapt routes dynamically. Over time, this becomes less like driving a machine and more like interacting with an intelligent service. Competitors simply don't have this ecosystem. They don't have the data. They don't have the fleet. They don't have the vertical integration. And most importantly, they don't have a product that people actually use daily in real traffic, generating feedback at scale. The pace of improvement is another overlooked factor. What looks impressive today is the worst version this system will ever be. Every update refines behavior, improves smoothness, reduces interventions, and expands capability. The trajectory is clear, even if some refuse to see it. This is why the removal of safety drivers matters so much. It's not just symbolic. It signals confidence in the system's maturity. It shows that Tesla believes the remaining gap between supervised and unsupervised operation is small enough to close safely. When people ask who will compete with this, the honest answer is unclear. Others may eventually build capable systems, but catching up requires time, data, infrastructure, and massive investment. Tesla already has all of that in motion. What we are witnessing is not a single breakthrough, but the convergence of software, hardware, AI, and scale. And once these pieces lock together, the advantage compounds. This is why so many comparisons miss the point. This isn't just about features. It's about an entirely different approach to building and improving vehicles. As this technology spreads, the expectations for what a car should do will change permanently. Driving will feel outdated. Manual navigation will feel inefficient. Cars that cannot improve over time will feel frozen in the past. This moment will be looked back on as the point where autonomy stopped being theoretical and started being practical. Quietly, without hype, Tesla has moved the industry forward again.